Banks, veteran of D-Day and the Arctic convoys, and a recipient of the Légion d'Honneur. Recently, he lost his life savings to scammers, £9,000. But now, friends, supporters and the public have raised the same amount again. 92-year-old Cyril spends his days collecting money for the Not Forgotten Association, a charity that provides leisure activities for injured or sick serving personnel and veterans. The scammers pretended to be policemen. They said they needed him to withdraw £9,000 from the bank so they could test it for fingerprints. Cyril's bank manager was suspicious. He was very upset about it, but he wanted to know what he wanted it for. And this was the conversation over the second man, but what I had to say, tell them you're buying a car for a friend. Cyril is typical of the type of person scammers target. We reckon that about £52 billion is lost every year to scams, all sorts of scams, and we tend to find that the scammers concentrate on the more elderly in our society, mainly because they're more trusting and they get better returns for their scam attempts through people like Cyril. But friends rallied round Cyril and set up a crowdfunding page to help him get his life savings back. It did worry me because every day that I was speaking to him, he was sort of saying, oh, tomorrow I'm going to go and do a bit of shopping. And, and then it would come to the next day and I'd speak to him and he'd say, oh, I didn't feel like going out. So I don't think he was coping very well. It raised £9,000 in just a few days, plus another £6,000 so far, which Cyril is giving to the Not Forgotten Association. We could run a boat trip for 100 veterans. We could run a train trip for 50 veterans or even take that would even pay for a number of younger injured men and women to go on a surfing holiday or a skiing holiday. And Cyril, despite what he's been through, has kept his fighting spirit intact.